begin by asking our parents, what name have you given your child? Nixon. And what do you ask of God's church for Nixon? Right of baptism. You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are expect accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? We do. And God, parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Yes. Nixon, the Christian community, welcomes you with great joy. In his name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. I now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People are bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me, do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Again, we thank everyone for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, today we celebrate with great joy uh, the baptisms, baptism of little Nixon here. We thank and praise God for his gift of him to us, and we present him before God today for baptism and initiation into the church, the family of God. As Jesus said, let the children come to me. We also recognize and acknowledge our responsibility to raise him in the faith, to help him to know God, to love God, and to serve him. The family is called the domestic church because it's in the family that you will learn right from wrong, wrong. you will learn justice and mercy, you'll learn to pray and to love uh, both God and neighbor. So parents and godparents, it's a serious responsibility that you take on today. Know always that you have your family of faith here, the church, to support you in these duties, to encourage you in difficult times and to re rejoice with you in happy times, to proclaim the gospel to you, to offer you wisdom and guidance, and to accompany you on the journey as together we strive towards our eternal home. May God bless us all and preserve us all in his grace throughout this day and all the days of our life. Amen. Let us stand again. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on his parents and godparents, and on all the baptized. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give him the new life of baptism, and welcome him into your holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make him your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep his family always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also ask for the intercession of the angels and saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. St. John the Evangelist, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness, and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. salvation. In the name of Christ our Savior, may he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. We ask God's blessing upon this water. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church, and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the grace of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin, and a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. And so I ask you, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? We do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? We do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it. Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Once again, I ask you, is it your will that Nixon or Tato should be baptized in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with? Nixon or Tato Gordon, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life.
having sinned, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith, the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In holy communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child and the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I have a special blessing uh, for our parents and for all of us here. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with him in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and the mother of this child will be the first teachers of the child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Uh, congratulations and a warm welcome to the newest member of the Catholic Church, uh, the family of God.